How's things guys? Today we're getting ourselves to did somebody called the Wambulance Trophy which involves us doing the paramedic missions and getting to level 12 and the nice thing about this is they will actually give you the infinite sprint as well so it's a handy one to do early so you have it for the rest of the game I mean honestly you don't want to be sprinting around the place and running out of breath and stuff so yeah try and stick it out it's fun obviously the location was there on screen all you need to do is hop into an ambulance and then press R3 idea of these missions are you're given a set amount of time you have to go pick up the patient that's on the map and you can see that there are yellow blips so there's your first patient you want to go pick him up drop him back to the uh, amp the ambulance to the, to the hospital now the thing about this is, is it gets harder as it goes there is more than one person on screen I suggest when that happens you can pick up three people at once pick them up drop them back every first drop off that you do will get you additional time for the mission so yeah just be vigilant and try and not use the brake a whole load because you will flip it it drops like it, it flips on a drop of a hat, it really does. So you're going to join me again when we're at level 12 here, guys. And we're going to have a look at the map just to see where we can group them all together. Now it's uh, 12 of them, so I'll be doing three pickups, or four pickups of three, I should say. So you just kind of group them all together and then do it that way. Typically you have loads of time, so I wouldn't worry too much. I think I'll start with the three up on the top left here. It'll be the easiest way because they're furthest, furthest away from the actual um, hospital. Now, last time I did this in GTA 3, I flipped my truck. Not a truck, I guess. It's an ambulance. I think I think I also called it a truck. I flipped my ambulance and I nearly crapped myself, but luckily it flipped back over. Uh, I think that they've actually improved it a little bit in this game because when you're pressing square and or three together, it really does just kind of stop dead on. It doesn't really seem to want to topple very easily. Oh, that's not good. Get in. Get in. Get in. Get in. There we go. Do yourself any damage. So you see, they give you like 51 seconds for pickup. I mean, it's it's crazy. You'll easily do this. It's just a matter of being patient and vigilant with it. Uh, a car, my car, it's not a car again, it's an ambulance. Ambulance is bet to crap though, and it doesn't seem like it's smoking or anything, so that's kind of cool. And this one is in a driveway. That's a bit peculiar. Oh, fair enough. Right, come on, get in. Some really cool cars in the Starfish Island part. The Comet, one of my favourite cars from this game. Such a little compact car, but it goes so fast. It doesn't look the best, but it just feels good. Cheetah, I think the, the Banshees improved greatly in this, even though I don't like the look of it. I think the old classic look from the old GTA series was the best. The racing stripe, ooh, racing stripe down the middle of it, and uh, kind of like curvier kind of edges rather than this angular thing they got going. Then again, it is the 80s and all the cars are very boxy. And that humpback bridge, I swear to you, that is going to be the death of me. I know you flipped the, the ambulance twice doing it there, and I kept forgetting to just slow down when I'm going over it. It looks like it's gonna go nose first overhead, so yeah. Or head over nose, maybe? Head over ass? Ass over head? Ass over head. Ass over head makes more sense. So yeah, just need to pick up these guys, drop them back. I should have plenty of time then, because they give you a bonus for every pickup, and they also give you a bonus for your first drop off. Oh god. Yep, heart and mouth stuff whenever, whenever this van. Van, I keep calling it a van every time this ambulance decides to, to kick up and turn. Ambulance is full. Oh shit, I wasn't paying attention. See that? Talking, I wasn't paying attention. Put myself in a precarious situation now. That's not clever. You need to be you know, be, be watchful of how many you have in the van. Van! God damn it, ambulance. Wow, 1 minute 50. Shit, I mean, really didn't do the best here. Maybe not the best way to describe how to do this in a tutorial video. <laughs> it's alright, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll still pull it out of the bag, I'm sure. Just take the next right, I think it is, yeah, and just go past the mall, just kind of go through this little wooded area, and you're kind of just there at the hospital. It's kind of the simplest way to get to the hospital, cut through all the, the bullshit of the streets and the cars, because, like, the roads are really narrow, they're only, like, a, a two-way system. In, like, ooh, in Liberty City in GTA 3, there was, like, three or four roads you could use, you know? It was kind of just more open. One complaint I'd have about this is just the way the roads are laid out, but sure. The game itself is fantastic. I don't know why I'd complain about that. Right, so let's see where our next one is. A 
probably get those two closest just to be safe because I want to get some time up. So I kind of screwed up there. I didn't mean to uh, go for them yet. I, I did. What are you going to do? Alright, so I'll take the next right and pick up this gentleman or lady. Come on, get in. Oh, shut up your whip's fine. Right, where are the next ones I want to get? Right, okay. I might get the two... Yeah, I'm gonna get the two on the beach, I think. I think that'll be easier. I'll leave the other three, because they're sort of more together, I guess, in the way I look at it. Like, if they're further out to get the other two, so I'll go for those two first. I've got two minutes, like, I, I should be absolutely fine. I'm gonna get, like, 50 seconds or so for everyone to pick up here. And... I mean, a second ago I got one on this bridge, that, that kind of orange-brown bridge that's back there, and I had to go across it very tediously. It was just like, oh god, don't crash, don't crash, don't go off, don't go off, don't kill. God damn it. And what are the chances of doing that? Get in. I checked it out. Not big deal. Just Come on. I think some of the stuff they say on the, the police scanner or the ambulance scanner is fantastic as well. It's just such nonsense. <laughs> Alright, that's all three. Let's bring them back to the hospital. 51 seconds. What are we on now? 2.55? Yeah, loads of time. I try not to go that way to the left. I think that the one-way system that they have going and the kind of partition in the middle, like, it just scares me because I feel like I'm going to flip all the time. So I tend to go up here past where your save location is that you're first given and go through the alley, and then just go straight through. Much easier. Obviously not fully straight, because you're not going to get through there, but a little bit to the left. Take one right, take one left, and we're good. It's probably to the right more than the left. Ooh. There we go. That's one more drop-off. Right, two more drop-offs, and we're good. I'm gonna go for the ones on the beach again, I think. So I can get a bit more time. I know I have two minutes, but typically about now I'd be looking to have about three or four. I kind of just screwed up going out of my way earlier on in the video. This guy and then the two at the bottom of the beach, I think. Hey, lady, get in. All right, guys, cheers for making a tight dickheads. Right. See, now we got these two and we're going to get loads of time, so we're sorted. The beach scares the crap out of me too, because it's so uneven, and the van, the van. If I say the van one more time instead of the ambulance. The ambulance just kind of looks like it's going to flip. It scares me. It scares me, scares me, scares me. There we go, 3.55. Look at the time. Plenty of time now. No need to worry. You can take it easy, just make sure you get it done. Get yourself the percentage towards your 100% and also, ooh, Jesus, and also your infinite sprint. It's a nice bonus. Goddamn, there's a lot of cars in the road. Alright, so let's take a right and a left and we're there. What's the deal with the squad guys? How much do those guys make? Then we've got the real flash cars. Oh, dude, you were just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Thankfully, you're at the hospital, though. Right, okay. Let's do it. Let's get these last three sorted out. That's the best way of getting to them. They're just all on the beach. That's fine. It's a nice thing about doing it in the first island. You get a lot of the guys on the beach. It's just a straight run through, and there's no traffic, no nothing. I mean, you got to deal with a few little bumps and stuff. But if you go slow enough, you should be fine. In saying that, I've cursed myself several times, so I swear to God, if I've said that now and I flip over, I'm gonna go apeshit. Right, number one's down here, and then the other two are pretty close together. Whoop! Hop in, it's not like there's a door to stop you. I don't have any doors left, do I? One door. This uh, ambulance is taking some beating.
In you get. Let's go. Good girl. All right, one more. One more drop off, and we're sorted. And I'm not speeding too much because I am not losing it on the last bloody patient. Four minutes nearly. I'm okay. I'll get time to even pick this one up. And drop it back. And still be comfortable, I feel. There we go. 51 seconds. Four minutes 18. Now, that is fantastic. Because that means that you can go as casually as you want. Chill out. Make sure the deed is done. And get your rewards. Where the fuck's the exit? Woohoo! Oh, there's one more dead. You've probably killed more than I've saved doing these missions. <laughs> Alright, let's go Ooh, further down a tiny bit and then take a right and we're sorted. Go through the alleys and the streets. Go up through the mall, I think. Yeah, there we go. Oh, so close to been done. It's such a burden, this one. It's not that it's hard, it is just a little bit tense. You don't want to have to do it all again, because it's such a time suck. Thankfully, the van... Oh, the van? Jesus Christ. The ambulance is in good nick, too. I, I think they probably gave the, the ambulance better damage, or reduced the damage it takes when it takes bumps, you know? There we are, guys. There's your trophy. Did somebody call a ambulance? And you'll never get tired from running. Fucking awesome.